Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. Kenya and Ethiopia to expedite $1.3 billion power deal. This article is taken from the Kenyan newspaper, The Star. Kenya and Ethiopia have agreed to speed up the delayed power purchase deal worth $1.3 billion that will see the former import 400 megawatts of power annually. That is Kenya importing from Ethiopia 400 megawatts of power annually. Last week, an Ethiopian delegation led by Finance Minister Eyob Tekarling was in Nairobi for talks with Kenya's Energy Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma. The two delegations deliberated on previously signed power trade agreements, finalization, operation guidelines and procedures, willing as well as interconnection agreements. They agree that the interconnection project is a mega project whose benefits spread beyond Ethiopia and Kenya. Tikaglin said it was necessary to ensure that Ethiopia and Kenya fulfill the dreams and aspirations of both countries to see the entire region connected to electricity. The value of the interconnection of our power systems is key to powering our aspiration for fast growth, said Juma. The system is an investment of $1.3 billion with a modern 500 kV line, an important vehicle for East Africa interconnection and nucleus for regional integration and prosperity. The Ethiopia-Kenya Electricity transmission line is expected to integrate power systems of five countries, including Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda under the East African Power Pool, EAPP, master plan. The plan seeks to take advantage of excess capacity within the network and facilitate the trade of electricity between member countries. The power line has been in the cards since 2012, with Ethiopia blaming Kenya for delays even after several lenders committed funds. The World Bank approved $684 million shillings, 77.2 billion, for the over 1,000 kilometer power line in 2012, allocating Kenya $441 million shillings, 49.8 billion, and Ethiopia, 243 million, or shillings, 27.4 billion in the first phase. The African Development Bank, AFDB, followed suit, approving shillings, 29.2 billion financing deal for the project. The lender allocated $232 million to Ethiopia and $116 million dollars to Kenya for the transmission line leaking East Africa's economic powerhouse to the Gilgal Gibe 3 dam in southern Ethiopia. Under a power purchase agreement, Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, Katrako, was to interconnect the national power grid to the Ethiopia Electricity Power Company by 2016. This would have paved way for Kenya to import 400 megawatts of cheaper hydro power. So the deal is back up and running. And this is great news that uh, Ethiopia with this uh, large bodies of water uh, in that region of, of Africa, East Africa is able to provide so much energy to to its neighbors even and this is not even including what will be done when the GERD the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is uh, uh, ready to to deliver uh, power